That's why today you're going to get to pick the keys and close the gates and close every entry of the everyone in your family. You haven't heard what I say. Before you start, I reverse the reverse this. God revealed to you the gates that need to be closed. The gates that, that need to be manned. Some gates are not just to close them. Some gates are to watch them. You become a watchman of a gate. Other gates you shut them and seal them never to be opened. Yes. Some doors you are to shut them with vows and declaration and, and said from today I will never go that way. I will never pass that way. No temptation can take me that path. Amen. Amen. There is no, 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 no desire, no, no interest that can cause me walk that path again. And you ask the Lord to put a curse in that way. That even yourself, if you take it, you have ordained a curse for yourself. Hello? 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 If your gate has been sexual sin, tell God, put a curse in that act. Go society. <laughs> if your struggle has been a sexual sin and it's the gate that the enemy is using ask God God do you know what I'm not sure if I will not go back there but to prevent me from going there I ask for a curse in that gate Hello? Hello? You know, when God, how God prevented Israel, He told them, I have put before you a blessing and a curse. Okay? A blessing, what? And He put two mountains and told them, swear. On both mountains. Swear before a curse and swear before a blessing. Amen. Amen. If your gate, the temptation, has been that thing, that sexual sin. Ask God to put a curse in it. If your gate has been anger, ask God to put a curse there. Every time you are going to get angry, remember you saw a curse that I will never be angry at my husband. Hello? Hello. And you say, if it's anger, that, has, that is the gate of this issue. Lord, put a curse. If I ever get angry at my husband, you don't want that prayer. If my challenge has been sexual sin, pornography, masturbation, Father, I ask in that act, ordain a cast there. And a cast that is irreversible. Now you know the curse is there. And a self curse is not easy to reverse. 
half over you are going to leave the service and run away. Why do you think God will say a blessing and a curse? A curse lock closes a door. A door of evil. So when you go and go into it, you've opened for what God closed with the curse. Are when Joshua, Joshua destroyed Jericho, Jericho after marching around Jericho, Jericho what did he do? He locked and yak, shut yak, that, that area nagala with a curse. Kucho, and he said, no one will build this city Nagama, te wali if they intend kuchibu. to at the cost of the first bone they will lay the foundation at the cost of the last bone they will lay the gates are you getting that? yeah, yeah. that's how serious you are you are going to close some things and you tell God today if the issue has been going to witches and, and wizards and, 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 and false prophets curse be the feet that take me there don't that take me in that woman's house. If you've been like, every time you say, Lord, I'll never do it again. Then she calls you for juice. And an omelet. <laughs> By the time you finish the omelet, you've, you've sinned. Banji wagenda kulia ji. Many of you, you went for an omelet and you came back with a disease. Now all the children have epilepsy for you eating omelet and you'd keep returning there. <laughs> Fried liver and omelet. Kati, you, you're going to tell God today curse be the feet that take me in that sin again curse be the feet that will ever take me in sexual immorality curse be the seed the feet, the feet that take me in bribery and robbery curse be the feet that will take me to witchcraft from today we are reversing a disorder by the way the, the, the religious people are now annoyed Cast be the feet that will take me in sexual immorality again that tells God that you have deep repented cast be the mouth that will take me to drug drug every time I try to take drugs the day I start to smoke I have, I have ordained a curse upon myself hallelujah hallelujah I don't believe from today you will go back in that immorality. Mm. Let's sort this out. God is holy but he has given you the right to choose where to go. Amen. Amen. Why am I saying this here? Because what we're going to be dealing with, we want to deal with it once and for all. We want to reverse the disorder once and for all. 
And sometimes you're going to be very radical. Olusi, ogenda kukole vita soboka. There are people you're going to remove from your life. Walu abantu ogenda kujambula mubu. For the sake of the soul you want to be delivered. Olwe me mejo ya gale sumurulwe. Are you getting me? On tegera. There are people. Walu abantu. You're going to excommunicate from your life. Bogenda okujambula mubu. Ngame, you are my brother. Oli muganda wange. But. I have to choose the deliverance of my child and you. I have to choose. You are my mother but for the deliverance of my child I have to choose either you or this destiny. Are you getting me? I always way. Sometimes I look at a child who is seven years. And I look at you who is 64. And I choose who to work for their deliverance. Are you getting me? And I choose who is more who has more time to be effective for the kingdom of God? And I choose. And I say, I, I think this one is seven. And this one is telling me to forsake this one. And I said, mm, wait a minute. Brother, are you not 75? How many years do you have for the kingdom of God? Okay. I choose. I can walk with this one 10 years for their deliverance than you who is remaining with 2 years. And you have raised Hundreds of evil altars for yourselves. And, and you have persisted in your idolatry. And you are a Christian idol worshipper. You know the worst thing to deal with. Is Christian idolatry. Our biggest problem today. Is Christian idolatry. Let me tell you. You don't know how, man, how, how, how I fought with most of you. Who have tried very much to make me an idol. You don't know how much I fought with you. Who have tried to think that I'm a deliverer. I want to see the man of God. I want the man of God to touch me. My man of God, my man of God. Because you were, you've been raised in a Christian idolatry. To believe in a man, not to believe in God. To believe in objects. To believe that if I gave you this one, you have power. That is Christian idolatry. You have a Christian name. You go to a Christian church. But you carry an idol called Prophet Bombastic. Bombastic. You carry a prophet and the, and the objects of the, 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 of the prophet. The holy water. The holy handkerchiefs. The blessed soil. The anointed stones. All of them. And you've raised altars of demons in your life. And when you conceive, the child you bring out will manifest that disorder because of the idol of demons in your blood.
So the idol distorts and corrupts the soul before you deliver, before the child is born. Sometimes the idol is money others the idol is marriage Ah, the idol is, a, is, 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 is work. Ah, the idol is your tribe. The cult of your tribe. Called the culture. The cult of your tribe. Is what you call our culture. See, see, see language. Tribe. E your tribe. The cult of your tribe. Cult. E ye you have the Baganda cult. Tulina cult ya Baganda. The Banyankole cult. Cult ya Banyankole. I'm first in Muganda before I'm born again. Because it's a cult. When God created, He didn't create you and give you the, 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 that, that cult. That's why one of these days your cult can change. So suddenly your mother can inform you. <laughs> suddenly after you are 50 your mother informs you you are in a wrong cult. You are in a wrong cult. Let me take you to Tanzania. And he tells, she tells you when I went to the witch doctor in Tanzania, Tanzania that's why I conceived. But I came back and told your father that you are his son. But now you are 50 years. Now you have to change the cult. Many of you here are sons and daughters of witch doctors. <laughs> But they, your mother died <laughs> with the, Thank God your mother died before he told you the right cult <laughs> way. Thank God she has not told you yet. I pray she doesn't tell you. <laughs> yes! Are you Now let me tell you this. Some of us, many here, some of the children we call our children, are sons of prophets and apostles of these days. Some of the children these intercessors are carrying. When they went for those prayers, and said, I need to cleanse you. And they went into the other room. They may be carrying a child of the prophet who now left and went back. To, went back to his country. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know today you are quiet. Eh? we must be delivered from Christian idolatry. That's why I'm avoiding it. I'm avoiding this business. Let me go. I will line up. Pastor James will touch me. Will pray for me. Will pray for this. Uh, because I just wonder how many you have gone to and what have they done to you and you want to add me on the list of those who have touched you <laughs> and God Mukama hates idolatry. God Katonda is a jealous God. Ye Katondo Wobuja. Today, in this session, I want you to pull down. 
Whatever has taken the place of God in your life. I want you yourself to pull it down and place a curse on it. That if you ever believe it, if you ever worship it, if you ever follow it, contrary to the will of God, let a curse be present. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many do not agree with me now. And they want deliverance. Mm? You know why God put a curse on the tithe? Because he knew how greedy you are. So he said he put a, a curse on a tithe and a blessing. Test me and I'll do this and this. And said you are under a curse. You are under curse. The same principle. The same principle. Of closing those gates and locking those doors. If the doors of evil. Gates of wickedness. That give the devil access to your life. They are locked and closed with a curse. That the one who opens it is cast. Everyone who tries to open it in my house, they are cast. Whoever will bring this. Amen. Amen. I put a punishment. Whoever will raise an evil altar from me throughout my descendants, I put judgment upon it. Now you're saying, what if, what if? That's what that's the compromising spirit. The spirit of compromise. Amen. Amen. Don't be as if now you're in the spirit. As if you are tired. Because you still want to walk through those gates and in those doors that you come with demons. I will say it again. Whatever is of the evil one in your life in your family it's because of a sin somewhere are you sure pastor yeah, I, 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 I've done nothing let's go back let's go back why did you have to go there what happened whether you knew or not whether you are ignorant or not that I was what gave the enemy right there is what gave Satan legal right there's nothing like the innocent are suffering no the enemy the evil one has a right to do what he's doing. Because he was given right. I always pray for people. And you hear this. This one is ours. This one is ours. She's ours. The enemy is not lying. He's saying, This is my. I have a right over her. 
So I always tell people, when you say, James, I have this problem, I'm under attack. The devil is hitting me. As I ask, where is the entry? Where, what gives him right? What gave him power? And the right to touch that soul. What is it? Before you tell me to, to remove it, to remove the disorder, what is the entry? What has given the devil that authority over this soul? Eh? What has given the demons, the evil spirits, the principalities, authority over this city? What is it that has allowed them to operate in your house? What is it that they have which is theirs? May the Lord send his fire a cleansing fire in your house and in your bloodline and in your life to remove whatever is a gate of wickedness. Don't just look at oh what demon is this? What speed is this? What what power is this? What is its right Na over ye. this house? I always ask them those powers what is your right over her? What is your right over him? Because I want to hear and I command it because I have, have the authority. I command you to say the truth. I command you by Christ. What do you demand of this person? What do you demand in this house? What do you demand of us as a family? What do you demand of us as a family, as a house? Because when I know that, then I can know how to go before God and plead for redemption. And, and plead ne, ne, ne and say ira, ne there is a debt here and I can't pay it. Now I come to you my God for wange. redemption. Redeem me Nunula. from this debt. Redeem me Nunula. from this demand. Mm. Are you getting me? You don't say I cancel. Every debt Satan has on me, I cancel. I cancel it. No way. It doesn't work like that. You know what it is. And you return to God. Seeking Him to redeem you from your strong enemy. Hmm? You deliver me from my strong enemy. Because I turn to you my God. That you redeem me. From the dead. From what the enemy is demanding. And the one to redeem you. Will also give you his condition. Walk before me. And be blameless. I am going to redeem you and pay your debts. On condition. On condition. You walk before me. And be blameless. So the, the payment is conditional. Terms and conditions apply. I hear people say. Salvation is free. Yes, salvation is free. But deliverance has terms and conditions. Mm, Jesus told the woman, You are forgiven. 
and tell the man you are forgiven. You are cleansed. Go sin no more. That something worse may not happen to you. Go sin no more. He didn't say, oh, you can do whatever you want. No, he said, no, 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 no. Go sin no more. That now, that's a condition. The same with the redemption. Hello? 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 He says, I'm going to redeem you from what they are demanding. But this is my condition. If you obey. If you diligently obey my voice and follow my instructions all these blessings shall come after you, shall follow you, shall come upon you, shall overtake you. Do you know blessings are conditional? Do you get that? Amen. Amen. You all know that not all the sick in the days of Jesus were healed. Not all the lame walked. No. Because Jesus never advertised the healing meeting. He never advertised the deliverance meeting. The advert of Jesus for his meeting was this. Galilee, repent. The kingdom of God is coming. That was the advert. He told the disciples, go in the cities where I'm coming. And when you go, go and do a public drive and tell everyone repent repent the kingdom of God is coming and there after the announcement heal the sick raise the dead hmm but these days, all the money is spent on advertising the man of God coming. Eh? All the, and people come to see the man of God. A man of God without God. <laughs> they come to see a man of God without God. <laughs> and what happens? The people are exposed to the spirit of the man. Not the Holy Spirit. You know, the spirit of a man can knock you down. And you see the powers hit you. But a man has a, a man just learned how to project his spirit and influence you. So they will not tell you to pray. He will tell you to receive from him. Receive what? His spirit. The human spirit. And you find that your battles now are not only demons but also human spirits that attach themselves on you. Some of you have like a 5,000. Because 5,000 prophets have now released their spirit on you. The prophet on Twitter, prophet on YouTube, prophet on X, prophet on W, prophet on what? All of them. Because you just, you are just a spiritual nomad. Everywhere you hear something like spiritual, you go. You, you have collected all things from different altars. And you have the, for marriage, you have a prophet for that. For flu, you have a prophet for that. Oh. <laughs> For 
for, for the wedding of your daughter another prophet and you, you even have a way of separating them if they are hard demons I go to James Kawalia <laughs> if it is anointing for money it is pastor this one who has it if it is an anointing for promotion that, that is another pastor so, and you've gathered all this by the time you your children grow you have exposed them to millions of Altars. So by the time they are 1817, they are being torn inside because you expose them to spirits of human beings who do not submit to God. Whatever was released, you received it. I receive it for the sake of my children. I receive it because of my marriage. I receive it because for the sake of their jobs. And you received every wrong thing on behalf of your children. And you received everything that they are not supposed to partake of. And you, <laughs> you made them sleep in mountains. You made them sleep in the cold. And you, you, you made them to take water. And they refused it. And you decided to put it in the food. And even in the boiled, you put the water. And you even got the man and you bewitched him. You, you still his shirts, you take them to the prophet point of contact that he may pray for them you stole, you steal the socks everything of your husband you steal and you take them to altars you don't understand you do it against their will you are a witch you are a witch. You are bewitching someone. Someone believes with their heart. Believe with their heart. And confess with their mouth. But putting handkerchiefs upon them when they are asleep at because night. Because you went and dipped it in the oil of a prophet Kubanga, of a witch akachambala, wakanyi, semo, mafuta, gana, biobo, and you are laying you put in their heads Kakati, akatambala, no, kateka, you kumutuwe. know you are violating their will o, kwa, gala, kwa, bobo, kutio, and bobe. that's witchcraft e, yoli, ba, dogo. the service is so bad not so service eno na yo sinyangu <laughs> Let us just pray and go. Let us pray and go. But this is what we need today. Amen. Amen. This is what we need today to reverse these orders. Your, your life, your life, your hands must be clean. Yeah, I, I didn't expect you to clap. To deliver, to reverse a disorder, your life, your hands must be clean. Not because you wished. Why I can say we're going to pray to trust this order. Why I've seen some results. I learned the Lord will answer according to the cleanliness of my heart. The Lord will answer my prayers according to the cleanliness in my hand. Because if my hands are clean and my heart is clean, I am able to enter the realms of God and seek the redemption of a trapped soul. But the Bible says Psalms 24 who may ascend the hill of the Lord and who will stand in the, in the holy place of God who 
Anioyo. Who? Anioyo. Who has not lifted his soul Memeye. to what? Kuti. To an idol. Amen. 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 I always want to ask people. You've come for ministry. You want deliverance. You want the healing of your family. Are you clean? Uh, pastor. Okay. Not yet, but I'm on the way. Okay. We are going to put it right. Okay. We are not married, but still. God will have mercy. The Lord will be merciful. May the Lord just help us, Pastor. I'm still involved in a bit of adultery, but I'm soon forsaking it. I've not forgiven completely, but that's not the God I'm talking about. And I'm talking to you as a min you're gonna be ministering. I'm not talking about the one who is suffering. Because they're not even their senses. They cannot be judged. Hmm? Any person who cannot be judged in the natural court because of their, because of their condition that one does not, cannot repent. If someone is mentally ill, cannot repent. Or someone has a disorder. And what delivers them is the cleanness of the intercessor. Because the intercessor takes their filth. Takes their filth and bring his killing this piece purity to remove their filthiness. Are you getting that? It's not about performing magic on people to be delivered. Deliverance is cleansing. You facilitate cleansing because you are cleansed. Are you getting me? Are you clean? Have you not lifted your soul to what is false and you swear? It, the clean hands are important. What hands are you laying on the people? Mikono jijo teka kubantu. Hello? Hello? What hands that are being laid on you? Mikono ji ejikute wako. Because that's a transference. Kuboko kuba kuyingi zibuam. You are something is transferred to you. When a man lays hands on you, whatever is in him, bad or good, can be transferred to you according to what he wants. Hello? Hello? You want, we are going to see healing if we stand clean the cleanness of our hands our eyes you know I was thinking about saying let there be a curse Job made a covenant with his eyes what covenant covenant hmm? He said, I, he made a covenant with the eyes. Not to look at a woman. Deceitfully. Eh? Never to look at. It. Never to sin with his eyes. Never to sin with his eyes. Mm. Amen. Amen. You know, you can think you are married. 
but your eyes are unclean. And you are sinning. You are sinning on your wife. You are sinning because of the uncleanness of your eyes. Because of the imaginations. Because of what you have, you transfer in your imaginations and place in the place of your wife and place in the place of your husband. You know, so those times when you you look, you look at this movie star in the soap with the round beard and, and, and get him and put him in your husband. Now this Dominico, Dominico you mami. kill him that moment and bring the other Romeo no and put him in the body of Dominico. No <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that has become an idol. There's, I'm telling the truth. There are many people who remove their husbands and at that moment bring their pastor and put the pastor there. And so they submit to the pastor and they never submit to their, to their husband. I wish the men would say amen. They obey the man of God and rebel against the man in their lives. Yeah. The blessing of a man is in his house or with his parents. Not with his prophet. Some people here you bless Pastor James with a thousand dollars or ten thousand and you never bless your mother with a coat. Not because you bless the, you, you serve the pastor and you left home without breakfast for your husband. Oh man of God, man of God, Kajuis, man of God, Kajanta, T. And the one who blesses you has not eaten for a week. Even when you woke up, I'm going for service. I'm the chief usher today. Chai mwefumbire. Cook for yourself that tea. Amanda has got him a store. Something to eat is in the store. And the man wakes up. Now, where is your mommy? As a mama waliwa. Against the monjiri. He has gone for the gospel. Oh, oh. <laughs> the Someone is suffering with this gospel. The Lord really helped me. I serve with my wife. I would not have allowed. And I'm too, too jealous. I cannot allow my wife to serve another man. I would not allow it. Even when we married, she was working. I sat and thought about And I said, me and her boss who has more power I, and I said the boss 
Bossy. Get her at 8 a.m. I'm from Nasa Biri Kumbaja. I release her to me. Na muntera at six. Kumkumi na bi. If I want her at one, we mama angala kusawa. She cannot come home. Tasa kujaka. Nenga bogo mani mungu sasiza. And I say I've cancelled that job. Nenga na kona kama hano mani. I told her, honey, you know. Chirabika. It seems you have to resign. Only no kuva kumuli mugu. Because I could just imagine. You can't have two authorities. But some of you have four authorities. Your boss. boss wo, number one. Yakulembera. There is the first one. Your pastor. Omusumba wo, number two. Your prophet. Wo, number three. The brother that prays with you. Number four. And finally. Your husband. Omwami. That was not my message. That was not my message. My message was different. Let me return to reversing these orders. This order number one. Misplaced authority. What caused the disorder? Authorities were misplaced. Let me ask you, mother. You are, you are dealing with the disorder of your child. Are you still under authority? Is your husband still in authority? Did you conceive under authority? Did you conceive under authority? Are you still under authority? Yeah, Are you still submitting to authority? Is it not this time? when you are seeing the deliverance of your children to return to order and say from today you are the prophet of the house you are the king of the house you are the priest of the house I'm submitting to you for the deliverance of our family I'm submitting to you for the deliverance of our, this house I remember I told one of my spiritual ch child I told her to reverse a curse and deal with all these things in your husband's family you get, you're going to learn one thing submission submit to authority and she, she's she, She's most, she was more spiritual than the husband. And she submitted to the to the. When I went to talk with the husband, she thought the husband so hard. The husband had already been disarmed by her submission. When he saw me, and he knew I'm the one who has train her wife to submit suddenly he became my spiritual son he became my spiritual son and whatever I was telling him to do I was doing we went to family deliverance we saw transformation How the wife started the ministry he supported the ministry he funded the ministry why? that family was delivered because this woman who married that family learned the secret of submitting to authority one time she was at home and she was leading the family altar and one day God told her lead that altar one more time and you know who am I that is God. Just read it one more time. And you will know that I'm a God. She trembled. God told her, you are, you are, you are anointed. I called you that you are not the priest of that house. 
Whether your husband comes back at midnight, wait for her, for him, to come and lead the altar. You lead the church. You don't lead the altar in the house. And in that family, the, on the day of the altar, they would wait. And I, I remember that, that, that man, those days he could call and say, uh, Father, Dad, I'm sorry, I'm running home. You know, I'm leading the altar. You know, at home they can't pray without me arriving. And the transformation, the deliverance, the blessings, the things, where, things that they thought could not be reversed, were all reversed, were all dealt with, without casting out demons, but by submitting to authority. Because even demons submit to authority. And this is where the issue is. Most of you men, you lost, you lost the place of authority. You can't reverse disorders. When in, in your house, you are not an authority. You are not on the altar. When it's time to pray, you are busy on, 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 on TikTok. You tell them to pray. Daddy, let's pray. Daddy, you pray, I'm coming. You are watching pornography. But the altar is going on in the house. You've let your wife function in the, in the disorder. So, so the demons have a right over the family. Hello. Hello. If you return on, in your place of authority as the priest of the house, as the prophet of the house, you may not need six hours like a wife of prayer. You can just say, in the name of Jesus, you spirit leave my wife and my children. Only that, because they respond to authority. The spirits respond to authority. Return home and be the authority. By the way, don't fear Totia. Don't fear. Totia. God tell that woman, Honey, Mukwano. today I'm taking back the authority of this house. As the authority of this house, this is what I have ordained. We are praying at this time and I'm praying for my children and you must be present. Hey. And she will say, ba, 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 ba. No, ba, 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 ba. We are going to fast in this house. From the maid to you. All of us. No eating. I'm the authority. Let's raise the altar. Let's raise the altar. Until now, today. I'm laying hands on all of you. And I'm anointing you. And I'm blessing you. And you make an order. No one leaves this house without me blessing you. Yeah. You tell her, honey, you are not supposed to live here before I lay hands on you and bless you. You know how happy she will be? She will tell everyone, me, touch me. You will see what my husband will do. My husband is a man of prayer. He prays for me. And by that, you are, you are dealing with the corruption. Those who are married, those disorders you see because the marriage bed was corrupted the marriage bed where the children are conceived was corrupted so they were conceived in corruption that can be the cause amen 
Amen. When you come for prayer, you tell Pastor James, I have not come for prayer. I have a child with a disorder. But I have come to repent. I have a daughter. I have a son. But that's not the issue. I have come to repent. I want to repent the way I conceived and where I conceived and who I conceived with. After the repentance, now a man of God minister to my child. Hello? Hello. When you have a problem and you come to a man of God, tell the man of God, I have come to repent. After repentance, then ask the man of God, now minister to me. After your repentance, hello? Hello? What we are dealing with is authorities. That disorder is because of the authority issues in your bloodline. It may not be you. You may be just a victim of someone stumbling on authority. Our mothers, our grandmothers sinned against authority and they brought strange gods in homes, in lives. They were in strange relationships. Secret relationship with demons. All that was, was stumbling on authority. We are raising a generation that does not understand authority. Today, we are raising a generation of saying we are, I'm a modern woman I don't submit. I'm a modern girl. I'm a, and and that's why we are seeing all these disorders in our days that we are not in the days of our mothers and our fathers. Why do we see these disorders? Because, because of deep-seated deep rebellion. Deep-seated rebellion. Because there is no submission. Submitting to authorities from today, I choose to submit. I choose to submit. Amen. Tell your neighbor submission. Now, that submission I'm telling you, submitting to authorities, is because in your spirit and in your soul, you have removed all idols and you've learned to submit to God. When, if you submit to God, it will be so easy to submit to man. It will be so easy and I'm not talking about being manipulated. You know, I, I know that many people, many, some pastors, when church, people, church leadership start to ask about accountability, that month someone is about submission. <laughs> Loyalty and submission. <laughs> Because now you begin asking, what happened to the money we raised? <laughs> That's abuse. And so, even us as husbands, submitting to you does not mean abusing your wife. Your order is a love your wife. As Christ loved his body. Love your wife. How do you love your wife? Taking your place of authority. As the priest and the prophet of the house. Amen. Amen. And things will be sorted out easily. Many people take me for prayer. But all, most of the people that call me for prayer are the daughters or the wives. And I'm asking, where are the men? 
Abasingo kumpito kusaba Bebana abawala obaba chala ni nebuza Batata abasajja baliruda Etandise Now the gospel has started The spirit of Jezebel That which That which Fights authorities Is what you are dealing with In that disorder Chobo the strange women in the bloodline. Those women that disarmed men. Those leaders who submitted to witchcraft, though they were leaders, and submitted to the spirit. That spirit that broke the thrones, that broke the authorities and destroyed the lions of the bloodline. The lions of your mother's womb. The lions of your mother's womb. Where are they? Is it not is there that also a disorder? Hey, you are so quiet. It started from there. Many years of, of stumbling on authority. And now because of deep-seated rebellion. The tree of rebellion. If I put here the tree of rebellion, I've shared that tree with some of you. You see that the schizophrenia, schizophrenia bipolar, disorder, bipolar disorder autism, autism are branches and leaves on the tree of rebellion. Are you getting me? I don't know if they have that tree. At least prepared. All these infirmities are branches. They are leaves on the tree of rebellion. And what you are seeing it's this the rebellion that has corrupted, distorted and, 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 and twisted the soul. So, because of the rebellion, the, the fruit you bring out manifests infirmities. And an infirmity is a deep seated and lingering disorder. But the root is rebellion. And you don't say I cut rebellion. You, you, you root out rebellion by your submission. By you submitting to God. Submitting to the word of God. Submitting to the authority God has given you. You are breaking, you are destroying, you are drying the tree of rebellion. And you know rebellion is witchcraft. That's what the Bible says. Bible rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. So where, because of rebellion, then the witchcraft came and instituted the spirit of Jezebel in the bloodline. Sometimes it's not easy to know that what you are looking at manifesting in your wife manifesting in your husband is a spirit of Jezebel. It's not easy to, to accept but sometimes you are face to face with Jezebel. You don't, you don't know you are not when you, you are face to face with a spirit that has hindered submission. Hmm? 
when God is to deliver you from this spirit, you begin to take you where to submit. It takes you in things that will cause to submit. Like consecration. Amen. Amen. Like this consecration work. And he said, but why doesn't God deliver me in one service? Why, why am, I, am I to travel all these miles and sit and what? He can deliver you anywhere. But he's dealing with a root. He's dealing with a root of many generations. You need to sit somewhere and the angel dig for days and days until he cuts the root. Until he cuts the root. In your understanding, in your mind, like how could I even be in such a place? God is dealing with deep-seated rebellion Mukama, of men. And every day is cutting. And at the end, he will, he will cut. He will cut the top root. The top root. You know, recently, I bought a piece of land. And I said, oh, this... There was a tree. And I love, you know, I love some good trees. And the Lord said to me, He says, that tree, root it out. It's an altar. <laughs> and you know, man is stubborn. Then I said, when I will be doing the final grading of the land, then we will root it out. It's not cost effective to bring someone to break the tree. And I left it there. And one day I was driving, and the Lord said to me, you know why you left that tree there? Because um, you are still not yet dealing with the issue of your submission to me. And many of people's lives are like, they've cleared many things but they've left the high place. I repented. Father forgive me. Have mercy upon me. Now I've realized the high place have remained. The next day, I was driving here and I looked at the land. That tree, only that tree had fallen by itself. All the other trees are there. But only that tree had fallen down. Only that tree. Only. I don't know how it fell but from the roots. And I learned something. There are things that may look good and useful but they are high places of demons. Because why do I have to leave the, a tree in my property which I bought expensively? Because it had an attachment to that place and the idol in my heart. Thank God, when the wind blew it, but also I had to deal with my heart. Are you getting me? The root of rebellion will dry. I said today, you are going to renounce any kind of rebellion. Including rage. Including stubbornness. Yes. Rage, the detail of rebellion. 
stubbornness rage and other things tantrums whatever is of, of stubbornness of rebellion remember on top of rebellion the, the, the rule of rebellion is the Jezebel spirit manipulation witchcraft intimidation intimidating others you know many people here you got, you got many things out of intimidation even in your marriage your intimidation is a good, a good tool for you you intimidate and then and then they buy you a car And it, it, eh, you intimidate. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm tired of this place. Maybe if I was to be, if they were to buy me a car. And you get it. No, and you've done that for years. Now it's manifesting in your children as a disorder. Repent and ask God to cleanse you cleanse you from rebellion cleanse your father's house from rebellion cleanse your bloodline from rebellion renounce any rebellion in your life all the years of rebellion and the angel of God will come, will bring the acts of the Lord and cut the root of rebellion but those who are getting married deal with the rebellion before you enter that marriage whether you were a man or a woman those that are going in ministry deal with the rebellion you don't want your ministry to split every year you don't want your ministry to be breaking every month because of the root of rebellion in your life, in your bloodline. Hallelujah. 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 You know, what we, sometimes you see, every time your, your ministry rises, you go through a scandal. And do you call, oh, the devil's agents attacked me? No. That ne, attack is because of rebellion. Rebellion in your bloodline. That's why people suddenly rebel against you and turn against you. I've seen that in my ministry until I began dealing with rebellion. My rebellion. The rebellion in my bloodline. Because when when God delivered me from cancer that day Jesus visited me he said to me I have healed you and I asked him from what and he said from bloodline rebellion he said it was a cancer but to the Lord it was generational rebellion rebellion Oh, that tree of bitterness, please. You are getting, a, you have a wrong trip. Don't take the picture, please. That's a, that's bitterness. That's not a, that we have a tree of rebellion. Uh -huh. that, don't take that. We will look at bitterness another day. Because there are three things we need to deal with. Rebellion, bitterness, and rejection. The, so, I was thinking about when God healed me. It said bloodline rejection. Yagamba. No, sorry, rebellion. But I, I, I thought it was the witchcraft that had brought cancer to me. Leukemia. Leukemia. And I was born again. I was serving God. But cancer came to me. I had a problem with my heart. I had a problem with my brain. And I thought maybe because I ever had a mental illness when I, when I was still in bondage, maybe it's the reason of getting tumors in my brain. 
You know, I, I, I was, so I thought that mental illness was because of the many psychotic drugs and all that they put in my, in my mind. So, when they told me that I had tumors in the brain, and then I had water in my heart, I thought it was because of that. But when Jesus visited me, and met me physically, not in a dream, not in a vision. I saw him when I'm not sleeping. And he said to me, I have healed you. And I asked him, I don't know why I asked. I said, from what? He said, from bloodline rebellion. And he told me, do not do any other thing. Go heal my people. Go heal my people. That's what he told me. Go heal my people. And so when, every time I feel I'm, I, get, I'm get, I get sick, I remember he told me go to heal. Why, what, why, I'm getting sick because I'm not doing what God told me to do. And when I said, God, I'm going back to heal your people, the, the, the disease disappear. Amen. Amen. Are you getting me? On Tegera. 2019, when, when I, I said, Lord, I'm tired. Um, people have abused me. I'm tired of people. I'm tired of ministry. I got sick. And when I said, God, I'll go back to heal your people. I got healed. Rebellion. It goes down to the days of Adam. Rebellion. Today is what we deal with. In the one hour. Amen. Amen. It's not easy. All your cells. Carry rebellion. All you who. All your cells. Are carrying the memory of rebellion. All your blood carries rebellion. And you're going to see what will happen tonight as you deal with the rebellion. There are things that have been in your life that the Lord will begin to deal with. And there are things that were transferred for many generations. Beliefs, memories, cultures, thoughts, feelings, attitudes. All those. The Lord wants to cleanse you. I said God wants to cleanse you. And that rebellion is in the family. That rebellion can be territorial. That rebellion can be generational. That you can, even you can have a church. A ministry. You started in rebellion. Hello? Hello? Hello. You may be in the church. Everyone is blessed. Except you. Because you may be there in rebellion. And the bad thing about rebellion. It opens you to lying spirits. And you think you are in the right thing. And it opens you to familiar spirits. And initiate you into sorcery. It's the rebellion. That cause you not to sit in one place and wait upon God. But run mountain after mountain looking for a solution. And the solution was sit and wait upon God. Like the Lord tells you, sit in Gayaza. Sit in Lugala. Sit in, in Nairobi. Nairobi. Sit and wait upon me. And you say, God, you have delayed. You have delayed. Let me find my way. Let 
Let me find a way of solving this. And he said, that's the rebellion. We ask the Lord today to expose rebellion. To expose it in us, Lord. Let the light of God shine. Shine in our lives. Shine in our hearts. Lord, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. We know, Father God, there has been disorders, there has been infirmities. But today, we come in the name of Jesus. Seek to turn to you, to submit to your will, to submit to your word to submit your authority in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we confess the rebellion in our bones, in our blood, in our systems, in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, Father of God of creation, I come to you. I repent. Generational rebellion, ancestral rebellion, territorial rebellion, family rebellion, in the name of Jesus we rebelled against you but today I come to repent the sin of rebellion the sin of riotism the sin of rage the sin of rage the sin of rage the sin of stubbornness in the name of Jesus lift your voice and pray when you talk about things like Infirmities, the all called disorders. Whether whatever time they come in our lives, they are a result of a root which is the root of rebellion. And this root sometimes is so stubborn that it attacks your memory and attacks the mind. It's the spirit that blocks the mind and harden the heart. The rebellion spirit. The, actually, it's a, it's a nature. And rebellion is iniquity. Is what? Chechi. And what deals with iniquity? Is a covenant. Ndagano. Some as a covenant. Now, the reason covenant works is because covenant breaks <coughs> this nature of rebellion because you are going to commit yourself to someone. You get it? Now, in our nature, it's not easy for us to remain in covenant. But covenant is what dis destroys iniquity. God blessed Abraham, walked with him, but did not fulfill his promise until he covenanted with him. I've learned a kind of prayer that breaks territorial iniquities. And blood and iniquities. It is covenant praying. To pray committed to something. I think you've heard my testimony about the, covenant, the, covenant, the women in the covenant praying. And for all this, over the 20 years I've been uh, a believer. 25 years actually now. I have failed to find believers we can do covenant praying even if it's just two three people for someone to be delivered even if you tell a mother and say we're going to do covenant praying with you praying like this for this time it fails it fails 
If you tell five people that let's make it. We're going to pray at this time. This long for this for these days. Because it's easy. But I'm telling you many fail. That's why I believe these 10 days of covenant praying if we make it to the 10th day we will have destroyed the head of rebellion if we make it to the 10th day and I'm avoiding the temptation of playing church here someone needs prayer lay hands cast out demons that we can do it later but in the 10 days we are here we are in covenant praying these 10 hours and then later we shall see what has come out without the laying of hands without the shouting you find your child you find your dear one restored. And you say, but Pastor James did not pray. No. What in covenant, whatever concerns you is involved. You don't even tell the one you're covenant with, oh, I have a son. No, whatever you is, is about you, the Lord covers it. You may not mention it. But in, because you are in covenant with him. He takes over everything that concerns you. He takes over your life. Because you are in covenant. With him. You have said, Lord, I'm, I'm setting aside 10 days of my life to be in your presence with the saints. Whatever you want to do, do it. I am here. Amen. Amen. Jesus, yes. I am here. I submit to you. Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes, I am here. Diwano. 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 I submit to you. I submit to your word. I submit to your authority. I submit to your promises. I submit to your authorities. I submit now. I submit myself. I submit myself. I submit myself. I submit myself. And I order all that is in me to submit to your will Lord Jesus I order all that is in me to submit to you I submit to Jesus Christ I submit to Jesus Christ I submit to Jesus Christ I submit today lift your voice and tell him that I submit to Jesus I submit to the word of God I submit I submit to the Holy Spirit. I submit to God Almighty. Lift your voice and submit. And command your organs. Command your desires. Command your thoughts. To submit to God. 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 My dreams. Submit to God. My mind. Submit to God. My heart. Submit to God. My imagination. Submit to God. I order you today. Submit to God. I order my house. Submit to God. I order my family. Submit to God. I order my work. To submit to God. I order everything. My heart, my soul, my spirit. Submit to God. 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 
God, submit to God, my Father, my God, all that's within me, submit to God, submit to you, submit to you, my submit to you, and the organs of my daughter, the organs of my son, submit to you, submit to you, but the soul of my son, submit to God, the soul of my daughter, submit to God, the mind of my son, submit to God, the mind of my daughter, submit to God, the mind of my spouse, submit to God, my father, my God, I submit to you, 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 my body, submit to you, my spirit, submit to you, I submit to you, I submit to you, oh Lord God, I submit to you, I submit your will, lift your voice and pray, that submission, 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 all that is within me. Let this submit. Oh God. My heart. Let it submit. My thoughts. Let them submit. My brain. Let it submit. Whatever is in me. Submit to God. Submit to God. My household. Submit to God. My soul. Submit to God. My sibling. Submit to God. The fruit of my body. Submit to God. Submit. 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 My soul. Submit. My mind. Submit. My heart. Submit. Submit to God. Submit to God. Submit to God. Sakata di Zakatara, 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 Zakat